a pediatric hospital medicine fellowship at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital provides a trainee with access to expert clinical faculty in the field, an innovative academic structure, and the resources of Johns Hopkins Medicine. We draw patients from around the globe and feature a learner-centric environment that encourages excellence in both clinical skill and scholarship. I think one of the benefits of our program is that we have a very balanced schedule. So when we're on clinical duty, we really are truly on clinical duty without a lot of other obligations during that time. But we also have weeks in between that where we really get to focus on our scholarly work and our research projects, educational endeavors, things along those lines. Founded in 1926, Johns Hopkins All Children's is a 259-bed teaching hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. In 2011, we became the first U.S. hospital outside the Baltimore, Washington region to join the Johns Hopkins Health System. In 2018, we opened a dedicated research and education building on the main campus, which is home to our grant-funded scientists and biorepository, the Center for Medical Simulation and Innovative Education, and the Office of Medical Education, which includes a lounge and collaborative classroom spaces for trainees. World-renowned neurosurgeon George Jello is our Vice Dean and Physician-in-Chief and leads the Institute for Brain Protection Sciences. We have a unique educational program here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. Our trainees, aside from doing their clinical uh, responsibilities, have the opportunity to learn about clinical research as well as basic science research. There's an emphasis on the whole person and their opportunity to learn rather than just providing basic care to the children. I think we provide excellent care here, but also we have collegial environments with everyone from nursing staff to respiratory therapists to child life to other physicians and everyone else in between. What do you hear? Johns Hopkins All Children's is modernizing graduate medical education with the idea of training the next generation of pediatric specialists. Dr. Bob Dudas is director of the Hospital Medicine Fellowship Program. I am passionate about medical education and I think the reason for that is because I think we all at the end of the day really want to impart some meaning to our lives. So to look back and say I've done something that's important, that made a change, I think there's a number of things that make our program unique. I mean first and foremost of course is we are Johns Hopkins and that affords us a multitude of resources available to us. As an example, we have our fellows within the first week of their training here undergo a rigorous one week long clinical research uh, introductory course and that's given by some leading world experts at the School of Public Health. Similarly, we may have our fellows go up and spend several days up there at the Institute for Excellence in Education to learn about how to be the best teacher that they can be and how they can run a small group or teach at the bedside. And you can see the investment in education from the administration, from, for example, my program director and my assistant program director. And then really all of the faculty are just very devoted to, to education here. So the relationship between Hopkins here in Florida and Hopkins in Baltimore is a really strong one. Anytime we want to do a research project, we automatically have essentially two sets of data to use, one from this hospital and one from up in Baltimore. And we also have two sets of collaborators. So anyone who is interested in something you're interested in up in Baltimore can be on a project with you very easily just because we have that connection established already. The Hospital Medicine Fellowship offers both structure and flexibility. The fellows' interests influence the path they take. Every week for our fellows is different, much like an academic hospitalist job is different week to week. Our fellows will spend some time where they're working with a hospitalist one-on-one, -on -one, taking care of patients, directly providing that care to medically complex children in the hospital. On other days, they'll be working with the hospitalist to triage and admit patients from the ER or other hospitals. The hospital medicine programs all across the country are really structured very differently. Our program is structured such that almost every child that needs to be admitted to the hospital goes onto a hospital medicine service. There are some exclusions, but we take the great majority of patients where we are the primary doctors and we are the primary team that are serving them. Our graduate medical education programs are strengthened by the addition of individuals with diverse backgrounds, life experiences, and talents united by a commitment to excellence in patient care. A successful fellow tends to have two key qualities. The first is the ability to communicate. Fellows who can communicate with families, with learners when they're teaching them, with um, those who they're working on when they're leading research projects, fellows with excellent communication skills will thrive here. 
The second key to success for our fellows is motivation and curiosity. One of the biggest pieces of advice that I'd give to fellowship candidates and future hospitalist colleagues is just to be curious. Fellows who have been curious about learning more about their patients, learning more about the trainees that they're working with, learning more about the cutting edge research that's happening, those trainees tend to really thrive. If you want a challenging but collegial experience that offers strong interaction with faculty, applying for a Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital Medicine Fellowship is the right choice for you. We provide a great deal of support for candidates to be able to explore themselves as medical educators, as researchers, as quality improvement um, innovators. Um, and I think there's plenty of room to do all of that during fellowship. Working at All Children's, you just get a sense for the, the connection that this place really has to the community of St. Petersburg and really Florida in general. Um, I think, you know, just being in the grocery store and someone might stop you and, and see that you have a Hopkins logo on your shirt and they'll thank you for, for the work that you do or ask more about your job because they really do feel connected to this place and, and they respect it a lot and are very thankful to have it in their community.